calling a form from other form in other words we will call it as a zoom zoom functionality it is zooming means calling a form from any other form from a menu okay so uh, i'll tell you the requirement here go to inventory here there is a transaction form in o2c and other flows we have seen miscellaneous then even okay so here is the place uh, you created a miscellaneous receipt transaction lines for any item okay now you are entering an item for this item we are trying to add the quantity okay right now available quantity is 20 correct and after entering if you want to see the total then what you need to do you need to close again see closing is required then again go back to there is a on hand availability on hand quantity these are all difficult if, if they are checking for 100 items 100 times they need to close this okay transactions miscellaneous transaction again go to on hand availability on hand these are all it's lengthy process difficult process so that is the reason why while doing a miscellaneous transaction itself we need to create one menu here once you click on that menu that form has to come up here that's why it is called as a calling a form from other form okay other form is what it is is on hand quantity for on hand quantity we should know the function name function name go to on hand availability on hand quantity here is the place i'm just knowing the function name this is the function name form name is different function name is different form may have multiple functions here the function name is inventory underscore inventory material workbench this is the function name this function we have to call okay function name is inventory inventory material workbench this is a function in oracle application terminology it's a function we have to call this okay now whenever you are calling you have to call through a block field go to transactions here miscellaneous you can go to diagnostics and examine earlier i went to custom code personalize now it is examine only examine will give you here there is a block name dot field name block and field you have to copy all this block name is the field name if you want to refer something you can use colon here colon is a bind reference colon block name dot field name okay you can take a variable through that variable that's called as a global variable here a global variable through global variable your item has to pass over here and after that we will call a function through that it will display the quantity okay so overall three things we need to remember in this one is global variable concept other one is colon block name dot field name the next is launching a function okay first step is what it is we have to create a menu as of now there is no menu attached here we need to create a menu diagnostics so first step is we won't write any code it will be a menu simply go to actions here menu name whatever the menu name will take will give you a menu label and second sequence for that menu only we have to choose as a trigger event and actions place first global variable you can take you remember this object type is a global variable target object is item and property name is value so earlier we have taken property you can take default value also if you want right now there is no default value it seems so this is called as this, as i told you already colon is a bind reference the next is block name dot 
field name block name dot field name through global variable item value will come over here next is built in built in is material workbench so what i am doing is i am just disabling this too okay we have to create our own clear so third sequence it is and you can use anything let's say on hand quantity menu creation the first sequence here is sorry so if, if you feel you entered wrongly then there is a clear button here clear record you can use this clear go to condition so when it has to appear it as soon as you open a form this miscellaneous received form it needs to appear okay then it will be a when new form instance only after when new form instance what you can do you will have to create one menu so menu name is here this one as of now property is covered in this example will cover both built in as well as menu so menu name is some menu is already utilized the menu one is utilized by sohas they have already used this now menu 2 is available right now menu 2 i am taking menu 2 is what it is on hand quantity menu let's say this menu 2 is over save so first sequence is over first sequence what it will do in this tools menu one extra menu will appear that is called as a call and and quantity menu so once we click on that particular menu it has to launch a function so which function it has to launch there is a material workbench inventory inventory material workbench uh, before calling then we need to pass a item value through this global variable okay yeah because we if you want to check the quantity correct quantity of your item through global variable only it will go to that particular form global variable is not allowed yeah global variable is required because we are passing a value from one form to other form right that's why global variable is required that is through in the block global variable global variable is um, from first form whatever you enter the value so the value will pass it to the launch a function second form it is through global variable only it will happen okay now go to second sequence it is fourth sequence that is call target function that is on hand quantity function it is okay now go to actions here uh, before going to actions on that particular menu only it needs to fire here if you choose when new form instance will not be able to launch a function definitely we need to choose here menu two only so in the in the first sequence whatever the menu you have selected in the actions same menu we we need to use in the condition here then only it will work okay now go to actions here uh, here is a place what we need to take we need to take here global variable so then after that trick target object is item value so here i i mentioned here colon is a reference here in block name dot field name this is the block name material transaction line dot item like this so get value is equal to validate could not be validated because of error there is a space yes validate is required to check the syntax is only here so if it is showing as a note there is no error here click on okay then second one is what it is once you pass that value through that global variable we have to call a target built in here built in so built in there are so many built ins here you can launch form 
we can launch the website url anything and we can execute plsql procedure and we can do ddl operations okay we can change the list of values so right now what we need to do there is a launch function here do you see here launch a function so these are all existing so you cannot go beyond whatever the values mentioned in this list that only we have to use so launch a function and your material workbench related function we noted somewhere this is the inventory inventory material workbench so once you enter here once you press tab it has to bring a function name automatically if it is already there it's already available in this list so that's why if you click on function name it's picking automatically from where this material workbench is coming is from this particular list of values like this so function code function name and then any parameters it has okay clear select this it is showing here workbench click on save that's it two things here one is first menu creation second one is once we click on that menu built-in built-in what is the built-in name here that is a launcher yeah. function that's it when it will fire see right now still it is not appearing on hand quantity is just click on this yeah it's okay in this particular form only it is showing go to tools call on hand quantity is showing okay so that's about the second example